Yeah, hello. This is a very important video, and it's very long, so if you don't want to listen, click off. But if you're, like, doing your laundry or some chores, and you just want to listen to something, then, I mean, don't click off, I guess. So you see this? It's pretty special. Got it in the studio tour in London, and we're going to be reviewing things with it. So let's go. Right here on the far end, we have one of the two accessory bins. Then we have some parts of Hogwarts bins, two of them right here. And then the second accessory bins. The whole minifigure thing, that will be a separate video. And that will also probably be pretty long. So yeah, let's just put some of this stuff away. All right, so moving on. Expecto Patronum. I reviewed it. Great set. For the price, it's pretty worth it to buy. This set, not a huge fan of. If they included one more car and made the train station bigger, I know it would make it like $100 or something like that, but it's just so much more worth it. And this, it's flimsy. Like That's like the one thing I don't like about this set. Just put it back together. All right, cool. And then we got the poly bag. And when I say I have everything, I mean everything. Now, I don't have, like, the things in the carts right now. But this is the poly bag that came with Harry. You know, the... Um... Like, the promotional poly bag. It's pretty good. Came with this head... Hegwood cage... Headwig cage that's a little too big, but it's all right. Um, so yeah, Harry in a school uniform, pretty good. This um, sweet cart, maybe it would have been nice to see something on that bottom thing, but it fits pretty perfectly um, in there. And once again, it's a nice part of the set. So we've got these things. These doors, which are open, and it's annoying because dust gets inside. But I like the inside because the sand blue just goes very well with the whole train. So let's put that back on and move right along. Okay, um, this, the coal, the coal car, not really anything much to see, but that's nice. The little conductor cabin place. And the whole um, train, like the front, came out pretty movie accurate. So, once again, that's always nice to see. Moving on to here. Let's move that away. We've got the car, and it's not much different from, like, I know the pieces are different, but, like, it's a car, and it was made, like, three or four times. Like, how many more times can you make it with it looking, like, significantly different? This, however, I must say, is a great model. I like the pieces that are used, like the rims. It's a great idea to have the trunk go like that. Um, inside, while it's not the most accurate, you could fit two figures. Um, from the front and the back, even though they sit side by side, but that's all right. And we've got two of them because one of the Whomping Willows I destroyed to build a mock. And I could not find all the pieces that I needed, so yeah. All right, so we've got two of them and two of the Whomping Willow. By the way, the car is the Ford Anglia. We've got the snake from the Great Hall set. And I said this in my vlog, it's a pretty... um. Pretty stupid looking build, honestly. Like, when you close it together, it just looks really dumb. I like the one from before, even if it was less accurate, like the color. This means we probably won't get a Chamber of Secrets. And the Tom Riddle coming out in that book that I mentioned that Just Too Good had in his video. Yeah, that probably also means we won't be getting a Chamber of Secrets. But... In my opinion, 
They should make a chamber of secrets where it's all rock work on the outside and you could put all these sets on uh, on top of it. It'll probably be pricey, like 150, but I'd be willing to pay that price. This is more of a display set, not really a graveyard. If it were a play set, it'd be like the one from 2007, I think. Or like 2006. I don't really know when the first one came out, but it would be a lot more spread out and it would look a lot more like a graveyard. But it's nice that we got a Death Eater and Pettigrew and a new version of Voldemort. Plus the um, Volda Baby, which is nice. And that minifigure up there, and it still counts as a minifigure because it's got all the parts. So yeah, moving on, we've got, let's move over here. This is probably my favorite part about the Triwizard Challenge Hungarian Horntail set, because the actual build for the dragon sucks. I mean, nobody likes these brick-built creatures. It might cost more Lego, but I'd be willing to dish it out if you actually, you know, tried to make it look good. So, yeah, we've got some stickers back there. I'm loving the, um, bow batons and the, um, what school did Victor Crumb go to? I'm not sure, but if I let... I'll get back to you, maybe, on that. But yeah, that's the best part of the build, even if it looks so plain. The Hungarian Horntail sucks. Once again, it's more of a spiky thing. Um, Lego, if you include prints, that doesn't really mean anything because the texture is probably better than the prints. So yeah. Um, and it just looks really bulky and really, like the tail's way too skinny, whatever. Moving on. Here we've got the Barnes and Nobles exclusive with, wait, is that an illegal building technique, Lego? It looks to be. All right, so we've got this. Let's just come back here. So yeah, we've got, I believe, Gringotts, Ollivanders, um, Birdie, not not birdie bus, um, Flourish and Blots. Now, I know my uh, thing is a little rusty, but since I haven't watched them in, like, since I haven't watched the movies or read the books in a long time, but, yeah, that's going to be quality Quidditch supplies, and that's going to be Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. And then here is the back. Pretty nice back for the Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes with all of this colorful stuff as it did show in the movie or did say in the book and here we've got Gringotts a very industrial looking bank very nice now I totally forgot that I was going to be using this thing so again let's get right back into it let's move some stuff here here we've got quite a delightful thing because this counts as a set yes it has a um okay um all right give me one second i know it has a set number it's like five thousand zero 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 two or something like that limited edition eh, whatever it was pretty pricey coming around to like thirty dollars but for these figures it's awesome that is an awesome figure it's a cheaper way to get Umbridge, Horse Slughorn, which we will be seeing in a $100 set. Um, my opinions on the set, it's the Astronomy Tower. I literally just can't wait. I'm going to be able to expand my Hogwarts, and it's going to be awesome. Then we've got Madam Hooch, a better version of her. Okay, moving on. So, then we've got this thing which i know these sets are all mixed up but whatever so we've got this part of hogwarts dumbledore's office which is nice but one thing i don't appreciate is these large like stickers 
um, because look, I put it wrong and now those two things aren't connecting. And they're just really annoying to put on, especially on curved surfaces. But what can you do? The fountain has a nice build. I think so. It would have been nice if they included the door to um, enter is like the fruit painting that you tickle the pear or something. It's nice that you have this thing that spins around. But it would it would have been nicer if there was like a thing you could turn right here to move it around. But yeah, so in Dumbledore's office you have a couple of stickered shelves. You've got Fox the Phoenix, better looking than the one we um, got with the Great Hall. And then the hat, which you could get in, which you could get in the book or in the Great Hall set. So yeah, and then the Sword of Gryffindor. Last but not least, yeah. all right. Moving on. Whoops. Gotta be gentle. Okay, so we'll get into some of these bigger sets in a little bit right after I move things, so I don't step and break half of my collection. All right, great haul, great set, get it? All right, cool. So here we have just an entrance place. I don't know why there's a yellow frog. Maybe it's Neville's toad, but Neville's toad was green in the Whomping Willow set. I don't know if that's supposed to hold anything. Um, I should probably look just in case it does. So there's a potions room, probably, I don't know if it's Snape's classroom. I sure hope not, because um, that's pretty pathetic. But if it is, oof. Um, here is the Fox the Phoenix, which is terrible. Brick built, maybe some printed eyes would have been better, but I don't know. And there's a chest with um, probably every single color of gem that lego has ever made and i'm talking about like the diamond gems and all like the um ones from power miners then you have a painting the mirror of erced that's desired spell backwards so here you have ron with his quidditch thing here you have quirrell holding the stone even though he never really saw it then you have Dumbledore holding his socks, although he probably saw himself in the mirror of Erised with Grindelwald and like his family and stuff. And here you have Harry and his family. I don't know why I have the Ron one in right now, but I just do. So, yeah. I don't know if anything goes on there. I'll have to check. Oh, and the actual Great Hall. Silly of me. I like it. It's a nice way to put four tables in. Really annoying to dust because, well, like, you have to get in there. The fireplace looks nice. Um, the teacher's table. It's kind of cramped in this place, but not in, like, a bad-looking way. It looks all right. Okay, and here we have, for the first time... <coughs> okay, so... For the first time in a long time has um, Hufflepuff, right? And Ravenclaw actually been represented other than the Susan Bones minifig and the, um, what's her name? Cho Chang minifig. And the Luna Lovegood too, but she doesn't come with her school outfit. But yeah. So in the sets. All right, moving on to the um, Yule Ball set. I actually really like this set. At first, not so much, but I warmed up to it. The cup, it sucks. Like, there's no better way to put it. it it's absolutely terrible. But as we move up along, Mad Eye Moody's classroom, which, you know, I never expected that in a million years, Lego, so thank you. Speaking of something else I never expected in a million years from Lego is the Dursley's home, and apparently comes with five minifigures. That being the three Dursleys, Dudley, Petunia, and Vernon, with Harry and Ron. No Ford Anglia, because you already have that one right there. Um, 
it's a really nice surprise. Like, I wasn't expecting it, but I'm really happy and really excited for it to come out. So, yeah. Whoops. Slipped. Then the last one, I really like the old styled um, beds. I can't get that like little black spot off. I don't know what that is, but whatever. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I really like this. And, like, the curtains, great use of pieces. The shelf, great. I make... I'll just say one thing that could make the set even better. Oh shoot, maybe um this piece fell off. Maybe there was like a one by two jumper. But one thing that could have made the set better is if there was like a railing at the end of this bed. Like, honestly, it's pretty perfect already, so I'm not gonna complain. Also, um, I'm pretty sure that's where you put the legs, so never mind. <clears throat> Um, so, moving on. Actually, not yet. This. Great build. This. Great build. This tree. Pretty nice build. I don't know why you have to have that, um, textured thing. Maybe for the bark, but... I don't know. Really couldn't care less about that tiny thing. But yeah, nice tree. Also, one thing I dislike is that there is this thing sticking out and then a star on it. Lego should make a piece that's just like a star with like a pole in it that you could stick in there. That way you could see the star from like all whatever, all angles. Here we have the Slytherin um, tower from the Quidditch set. Boom. Hufflepuff, once again, representation, even though Literally, its main goal is just for um, Gryffindor and Slytherin playing. But you also have the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw tiles. Although they include that, but no actual players for the two teams. So maybe that'll be a poly bag. I don't know. Hopefully. That would be awesome. Very nice thing. Um, moving that. The cup, of course. Nice stickers. I loved all the stickers that came in this set. Then we have Ravenclaw. Oh, that's not good. That's peeling a bit. Oh, that that sucks. All right, guys, I'm going to end off the video and try to crazy glue that. I'm kidding. All right, here we have a speaker. And the two flags. Speaker with a Ravenclaw tower. And is there anything in the back? Boom. I will say the interior of Hufflepuff tower is significantly better than um, Slytherin's tower because it has the place to put the tiles. And Gryffindor's thing is so you can have a player tumbling out. Pretty nice um, play feature. Don't really care about it. Um, it's not like it's so loose that it'll just happen even if it's like standing still that it'll just go like boom, 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 boom. Just while I'm trying to, yeah, display it. Pretty nice set, not gonna lie. We've got the chest probably with all the balls for Quidditch. Moving on, here is a cheap set. You could get the Harry Potter, um, a cheap set you could get the hat in. And this set also comes with four printed tiles of, um, printed tiles of the four houses so let's spin this until until i can get the gryffindor that's hufflepuff whoops all right hufflepuff hufflepuff this is gryffindor all right fourth time's a charm you know as they say part of the gryffindor set ash Great hall set. Um, I'm not really worried that they didn't include paddles. Like, magic boats move by themselves. So it's cool. The lantern. It's nice, but... Like, a yellow piece would have been better. But I guess they just put this, like, neon yellow just so it didn't... 
Um, didn't look too much like the actual gold thing right here. It's a nice thing though to include. Moving on. I say that way too much in this video, but whatever. Okay, um, this thing, you need to press on the roof really hard for it to actually like light up. Okay guys, we're having some technical difficulties. I will be putting you down for three seconds. One, two, and last but not least, three. Okay, we're good. So here we go. Um, I like the exterior with the plates that are sticking out and the foliage. Pretty nice. One, I didn't like the set when I saw it, because, um, sure, it's got the two houses, but, I mean, it's open. It's, like, really open. But, I'm seeing this thing right here, right? This thing right here. And, I don't know if there's supposed to be something in that little hook. But, yeah, so, that thing might be another Haggard's Hut thingy majigger so maybe if you were too cheap to buy that one in another book there will be the rest of this hut which i will definitely buy to f like close this ugly thing off it's not ugly but another thing i dislike all of these freaking gray things under everything like even under the bag come on the sofa is a nice build though Moving on, older Haggard's Hut, 2010, nice, 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 not really. I mean, I wish, actually, you know what, I don't think I, that's probably my favorite Haggard's Hut that I own, out of, the, out of these two, that's my favorite. My opinions might change, actually, they probably will change in the future. So, yeah. If I forgot to mention, you see those little statuettes in the Great Hall set? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice of them to include. So, yeah. Alright. So, I don't know why they included a yellow plate, but whatever. Hold on. Oh, um, I was making a mock, and that's the I Love South pause thing that came with Ned Flanders and I just put it there because like Hagrid deals with animals and animals have paws so yeah so out of all the three or maybe I own like four Hagrids and my favorite is yet to come so yeah moving on that set, awesome. The troll, great mold. The pieces that go up there, I lost them like, I'm not gonna keep two bricks up there and not expect them to fall. Nice sink piece. It's the older style door. So yeah. The troll is pretty scary, you know, with his little head on his big body. But yeah, then you've got all of the three Aragogs plus one. My brother and I got the same set at the mall. So it was pretty awesome. And Aragog, it's not like something you can have too many of, unless you have like thousands. Because if you are making a Forbidden Forest mock, like two of them, that's good. And for that 2010 Aragog, I think I'm missing something over there. So I'll try to... Find it. And then you've got that one. Bought it for like 12 bucks. Along with the figures. Sadly did not include the actual set. Which would have been really nice to say the least. Um, then you've got the actual Forbidden Forest. So by first glance. A lot's going on. And that's a good thing. It's a forest. It's supposed to be overgrown. Once again the back. Kind of looks a little ugly. But, I'm guessing this is meant for display, plus this play thing that I will put attempt to put back in with one hand. Oh, get it right in the hole. Uh, 
Okay, and I did it. Um, next, moving on to the 2002 Quidditch set. I think it's 2002. Comes with this Quidditch book, and I love these printed books. They're um, one of the better things about the Lego Harry Potter thing, about the Lego Harry Potter series, the old one. So, yeah. And now it's stuck. Whatever. Fix that later. I really like the two, um, yeah, they're printed pieces. Really like that. And um, just this whole build about it being... Oh, this happens, apparently. Yeah, and then there's a printed piece in there. Like a bag of bones and, like, gold dust and spiders. I believe there was a promotional set from Toys R Us that was, like, exactly the same build as this without the printed pieces, but for Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. So, yeah, then there's a lamp and somewhere where... Madam Hooch sits. Then you've got the three rings, kind of basic, nothing special. And then this launching thing that, like, is for the playability of the set. Then you've got just, wow, like, literally one of my favorite sets ever to come out of Lego Harry Potter. You've got this, and by looking at the, um, Goblin's torso print, that could still be used today. Like, the amount of detail on that compared to, like, Harry's. Even Harry's could be used today, but still. In there, you've got a um, nice golden key and a bunch of gold coins, which is nice to include with the set. Then you've got this little play function where Haggard can roll down and get nauseous because that did happen in the book. This is my favorite print of Haggard. I absolutely don't know why. Um, is this... It might be the same one they use for Dumbledore, actually. But yeah, I don't know why this Haggard is just so nostalgic. Like, I wasn't even alive when this came out. But I guess playing the video game, and that's probably it. Playing the video game. Little simple build for the car. We will probably never see those wheels again from Lego in the future. But who knows? Maybe, just maybe. There we've got the Gringotts. With the um other goblin. Whose torso print is... Looks a little worse than that one, but that's alright. Oh, you can also take this out, which is great if I'm reviewing it. And you could spin those things a bit. And I don't think there's anything in there because I put all the coins in the actual, like, in Harry's bank. Now, for those of you who are really noticing, you may be asking, like, Hey, wait. Those light posts. They have to have a white stud over there under the, um transparent cylinder and yeah the ebay seller didn't get them to me but i got this set for a good price of like 16 bucks and this was like last year so i guess that's gonna be the end of it of my harry okay focus please of my harry potter lego collection coming in at 30 minutes um, I want to take this last minute, or however long it will take, to discuss the new sets coming this summer. Yeah. New CMF series. I need to finish the first one. Not the Fantastic Beasts part, but the Harry Potter part. But getting Luna, so definitely on the bucket list. I can't wait for the second CMF, because the first one was just so good. Then we have a second advent calendar. Need to get the first. Um, it It's looking really nice. Then we have Astronomy Tower. I'm really um, pumped for it. Hopefully there could be multiple classrooms. I wonder if Trelawney's classroom is in the Astronomy Tower. Oh well. Then we have... 
um, the room of requirement. Hopefully you can join that with the actual Hogwarts. It's going to be one of the cheaper sets in the wave. Coming in at like 40 bucks, I think. Um, then we have Buildable Hedwig, which I'm going to get as a completioner. Or com just to complete the Harry Potter wave. Then we have the Dursley's house, which, um, it's awesome. I can't wait. Hopefully we get, um, different prints for Harry and Ron's torsos. And that is going to be it. That is going to be my Lego Harry Potter collection thing. <laughs> Video. Um, leave a like, subscribe. Comment down below if you watched the entire thing, because if you did, that means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be the minifigures one.